send it, send it. Vanel. All right. Good morning, evening, or afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the RBT5 quarterfinals right here. We have a matchup between Rehab and Mad Sad Bad that is already going in. It's going to be Team Rehab on the survivor side first. Dave taking a little bit of spit damage there, and we also have a double header for you tonight here on Vanel's stream and on the Parish. This is a neutral game between the number one and number eight seeds here in RBT5, so very quickly on survivor side, we have Rehab, the tournament's number one seed with Dave, Wristburner, Dungeon, and Dusty, and on the special infected side, for Team Mad Sad Bad, we have WMMH, WW, Healy, and Ryan, and this first tank is gonna be up into the hands of Healy on Parish Map 1 right here. The winner of this game advances to play the winner of the game that's going to be happening later tonight between teams keyboard warriors and team stuck in rotation so huge match going out right here and this being a one game also does leave less room for error of course on both sides with these teams who are looking to take this win and this first tank is actually already up top looking to get chipped as he crosses however because frag four are going to be shooting him up top as he jumps over the windows but that's a great double cap triple cap actually going out with that smoker in the back and one survivor being dusty is separated by this tank that is going to be the first corner going out onto him another punch over the van though is not going to allow that corner to happen dusty's gonna pop pills Healy's down to just over 3,000 HP and is now rotating back onto the roof. That was almost disastrous for Team Rehab right there, but the tank is going to be recommitting with this car. Smoker Pull does go out onto Rochelle as the survivors are on top of these semi-trucks with that car flying in, not going to land. Boomer also is going to get popped. Dave is right next to the tank right now after being pounced by that hunter, but that tank is going to die with only about four punches going out after what looked to be a completely special infected sided cutoff there as the survivors were trying to get that ship but now team rehab are going to make absolutely no wasted time as they go forward through the alley and they now only have one hit left before they reach the safe room potentially with this charger going in it is going to miss the jockey does land in the back onto dusty for a bit of damage along with that free spit but that is going to be i think the last hit that msb are going to have unless dusty decides not to pop in the back and it looks as though he's not as his team is really far in front of him these spawn timers are going to be real close just coming into queue as they get into the safe room and it looks as though they will be able to get in without any further incident so team rehab finishes the first map here at parish with 660 points on this neutral server once again Apologies for the intro there that kind of happened as the game was going live, but as I mentioned, we are going to be having two different matches back to back with this one here being the first one, obviously, on New York number seven. Everybody for Team MSB is sitting in the orange, and three out of four for Team Rehab are also sitting at that orange. Dusty does have the lowest ping here in the 20s, 22 to be exact, so looking to see exactly what he can do with that for his team as they push their way forward, hopefully for them to that semi-finals matchup on Dark Carnival, but if MSB have anything to say about it, they are definitely a team, especially in this one-game scenario, who can pose a massive threat to Team Rehab's plans. Almost going live with that second half. I don't expect to see Team MSB be as aggressive as Rehab were on that tank, because as you've seen from the last stand update over the last couple of matches, it's possible for the tank to climb a ladder all the way to the top of the roofs and then do three jumps on a ledge around these windows and take almost no chip getting above the survivors. So it will really depend on what team MSB want to do in order to stop that tank from committing in with that 6k HP. And as we go live here, it is going to be a Dave tank for team rehab. Hit's going to be going in now. A jockey is going to die. Charger's going for a death charge, not going to land it, but that free charge has such an ability to do a massive amount of damage to the survivors. In a couple scrims, we've seen people get death charged by it, but the survivors were able to back up on that ramp and not have any difficulty whatsoever. Only about 17 damage from that spit going out onto MSB as the tank is going to go up into the hands of Dave himself, aka Thanatos, aka Soul, 
as has been said a number of times during this tournament. And MSB are going to pop that boomer as they make their way back towards the safe room. This is going to be just residual common coming in from the street as well. No one's there to ship the tank. So Dave's actually going to be on the ground climbing up that ladder. He does take just a bit of chip from Rochelle there with that all-important distance Uzi. But he now has the best position I think he could be in as the tank, trying to keep a little bit of sight on that first pass. It's going to be a hunter, a jockey, and a charger for this first support hit. Let's see if he decides to send this now, because they might want a boomer in this area, just because it is so effective. And indeed, they are going to be launching the hit, and Charger is going to land. Jockey's looking for a land as well. That is a three cap momentarily, with the Jockey and Hunter landing, and Dave is actually going to dive his way in, going for Nick before he's able to get up and out of that area, but he's going to be punished for this now, as MSB are directly on his back. He has about 3.8k left, as one of the survivors who was underneath the tent is going to teleport to his team, because obviously that would would be a totally Left 4 Dead 2 thing to have happen in the quarterfinals. And now Dave is going to have 3.7k left on this tank with a Boomer, Charger, and Smoker in that spawn rotation. So let's see exactly what he's able to do with that. Still a huge amount of damage potential for this, especially if Dungeon, aka Spongy, can land that Boomer. MSB still going for some of the chip, and the tank is on first pass, keeping sight on them, throwing a rock towards Coach, not going to get it, and I assume they're either deciding if he wants to be a rock tank for the rest of his life, or if they want to recommit with this special infected setup. That smoker on the roof might be looking for some kind of early pull. Boomer is going to get popped beautifully right there as well by WMMH, and that is going to cause the survivors to push their way forward. They don't have anyone bleeding, still four sets of pills. Nick is down to just about 42 HP, and this car is going to go spiraling in, but it's not going to land, and the survivors are just going to keep moving their way all the way forward. Dave on top of the roof here is going to spray his smiley face spray and get closer to them making his way pretty much in for the commit missing that first punch however on the recommit looking for the other survivors here as that charger is going to land that hunter is going to land as well charger is going to get cleared hunter is going to get the in cap and the tank is down to 1400 hp trying to spread the damage onto rochelle and also ellis that hunter needs to get cleared fast but nobody's shooting the tank right now as he's getting this corner on to coach with just about 800 HP. Two downs already out. That's going to be a curve rock that is not going to land, and Dave is going to decommit once again with 32 HP to his name. Absolutely crazy positioning so far from these special infected tanks, and they have managed to get a fair amount of damage out, especially right now onto MSB from Dave's tank, even though he was down to just about 3k when he recommitted. That's going to be a nice double cap landing as well. The jockey going onto Rochelle and the smoker onto Ellis. One boom is going to go out. Tank is trying to throw rocks from inside the building there, but he is going to go AI after a good amount of damage has been put out onto MSB. AI tank is going to die now, and that will allow the special infected to potentially get a spitter hit before the survivors reach the safe room, and indeed their timers are just about right to be able to get that last hit before the end of this map. It's going to be a hunter, charger, spitter, and a jockey, so a great 3-1 with that spitter as the survivors are working their way forward here past the alarm car. Hunters looking for the first land, but it's not going to get it. There's the double cap landing with the jockey, and and the Charger's going to go in, jumping into the corner, but not managing to land onto that Survivor. The Spit still does a great amount of damage onto Healy, and that's going to be MSB limping into the safe room for a total score of 428 points. Honestly, one of the biggest changes I've seen in Zodemon that's happened over the years is that this first map of Parish, of course, is pretty nerfed, but that is still a 232-point lead for our number one seed, Team Rehab, moving into map two. Honestly, I thought that the survivors going forward on MSB's survivor side made the right kind of call with that, but I think they might have thought that the tank was a little bit lower than he was, because he was able to get a good de well, a good decommit and then recommit with those spawns in front, and a lot of damage went out onto them because they were somewhat separated. Nick got punched pretty much, uh, I don't know, a few percentage points forward and then got pounced, and they were more worried about clearing the pounce than they were killing the tank, and he did a massive amount of work with under 1,000 HP, so... Following that now, Team Rehab are going to be on the survivor side first here on map 2, and we are going to have a tank that's going to be spawning at 33%, it would seem. That is going to be really, really important for the survivors to just not take a huge amount of damage on that, because they also have to navigate the event as they go forward, and that tank will be up into the hands of WMMH himself for MSB when we get there, but first, this first hit is going to be that Charger, Jockey, Smoker, and... Uh... 
One second, that's actually gonna be a Charger Jockey Spitter and Hunter going in. That Charger is gonna land with Spit going on that as well. Dusty getting absolutely murdered on top there next to that door. He's already gonna be pushed into the slow range just from that opening hit. That was a great amount of damage going out. I thought the Infected had a quad for a second, but that's just Daylight Savings Time working on my brain. And that is going to cause Wrist Burner to be pushing all the way through the park as Dusty is going to be limping behind. MSB showing their strength on Special Infected side so far, getting some nice hits out onto them. But now it's going to be an open field hit with a Hunter, Boomer, a Jockey, and a Smoker. So let's see what Team MSB can get to happen here. That's going to be a Smoker pull going out. Is going to get cleared. Hunter not going to land. Boomer lands a nice double boom, though, as as the Smoker is going to re-pull onto Rochelle, managing to get it to land for just a couple ticks of damage, but again, MSB showing their coordination so far. They are in that 8 seed, as I mentioned before, but honestly, it's one of those situations where, as we saw yesterday with Team MD and Team Aquilix, these games can honestly go in either direction, and so far, MSB had to be pretty happy with the damage they've gotten. Let's see what they can do now on this tank, going up into the hands of WMMH himself, Charger, Hunter, and Boomer for this first hit. Dusty still has not popped those pills, so nobody is bleeding yet, probably because he knew this was going to be a tank in this open area that probably does the most damage it can as a rock tank if the survivors aren't paying attention, but I'm pretty sure he's going to have to commit with his hittable here. He's moving towards the dumpster already behind the bathrooms. Let's see if he can get that in. This Hunter's already going to get chipped down, though, to 170-ish HP, so I'm pretty sure he's just going to despawn and then try to go in once again as the tank moves his hittable into this position. Boomer is going to spawn and get a single boom onto Dusty as this hittable is going to go flying up into the sky and going to land in the middle of the park here, so not ideal for this tank so far, and he is going to be on to his second pass as he continues looking for it, but he's going to have to make sure he rockets it in, and indeed, it's going to go flying all the way in, and it's going to land behind the survivors, so they're probably not going to kite back to that corner, and indeed, they are going to be looking to flush into the open as the tank goes in for the commit. Charger Hunter Jockey for the SI support hit. Going in, Charger's going to land. Hunter's looking for it as well. Jockey's trying to go for Coach Rock. He's going to land onto Rochelle. Jockey's still trying to land, but this Charger is getting a great amount of damage out right now on to dungeon as the tank is trying to throw rocks in the open field so the tank wasn't able to do much of anything there but that charger landing does get an in cap in a spot where it can be really hard to get damage on the special infected side so still again hats off to msb for managing to get that to happen and now they have an entire event to try to bring this bonus down on team rehab also so i expect to see rehab maybe decide to push through this it's honestly up in the air because like i said they're playing with orange ping not red ping let's see if this hit does damage though as that hunter is going to get skeeted double boom did go in as well and then the spitter is going to die as the survivors push their way forward honestly they probably can push to the scaffolding to get the door open if they want to with this and with that hit going in right there they might be able to get through a large part of the alley if they decide to go forward and indeed they are going to so let's see what this next hit for MSB can do. It is a Charger, Boomer, Jockey, and Hunter, so no spit hit here, and they're gonna have to go fast, because Rehab are hellbent on getting out into the alley. There's a single boom going out onto Rochelle. This Charger's still looking for this spawn in between. Jockey's gonna go in, not gonna land. The Charger's gonna land a beautiful double charge, though. Hunter going for the cover as well. On to Coach, managing to land it. That is Dusty getting pounded into the floor a couple of times there from that double charge, and another set of pills is gonna be committed on the side of Team Rehab. Rehab. I don't know. This has been a very fast-paced game as we've seen so far, and honestly, MSB's been matching teams' rehab speed on the special infected side from what we've seen in this first about map and a half. This is going to be a smoker pull going out onto Rochelle. Smoker is not going to die from that either. Jockey, Boomer, and Spitter going in. Double Boom is going to land. Smoker is going to die, and that Jockey did get shut down as well, so... This is going to give Team Rehab the opportunity to push up and get those spawns blocked from above and also to open the bus depot door. They still have a fair amount of horde to deal with, however, as they're working their way forward. So, 120 common, probably going to give the SI another good two or three hits unless they decide to push all the way forward through it. And this is going to be a Charger, Hunter, Boomer, and a Jockey for this next hit, using those ground spawns as much as they can to then climb up to the survivors. Jockey is already going in. Boomer gets a single boom. That is going to be a pounce landing up top and a charge landing as well. Jockey looking for the follow-up. Not quite going to get it, but another nice amount of damage going out onto Team Rehab from MSB so far. 
And honestly, they're going to have Dusty slow in, I don't know, I don't think he's going to be slow in time for the SI to play off of that because he's already down to 46 HP, but we see Wristburner holding W as they get towards this safe room, guaranteeing that it's only going to be one more hit. Spitter, Boomer, Smoker, Charger for this as the survivors are already blitzing their way towards the safe room. With that Smoker, Maddie Atlanta pull on the coach in the back. Charger's going to spawn up, looking for it, and he is going to get it on to Dave right there, so that's even more damage going out, and this this is actually what I would call a matchable bonus for Team MSB on Survivor side, but they have to shut that tank down in the open field, plus not take as much damage on their Survivor side as we saw Rehab take on that first hit. Rehab going to bring their two map total for this one game to 1,496 points. Not too shabby whatsoever, but absolutely in reach for MSB to match on this next Survivor side. Honestly, one of the things I think we've seen from Paris so far in these quarterfinals is that it is possible to get a pretty close game, at least through the first two maps, but the huge map, of course, is going to be map three, with so many chances for the SI to get a good amount of hits onto the survivors before they get anywhere close to the safe room. It's one of the most endurance maps I think you could possibly find in all of Left 4 Dead 2, so... This is going to be interesting to see if MSB can capitalize on that, take the tank cleanly, and then use it to their advantage. In terms of how they go through this event, let's see what they're able to do as we are going live with the second half of map 2 right here with MSB looking to clear these common in the front. They're going to have a dusty tank to deal with at that 33%, so we expect to see him most likely get his hittables and then work the survivors into a position where uh, they don't have as much room to kite in that massive open park area. First hit again is going to be a Hunter, Spitter, Jockey, and a Charger. This time Rehab looking to do what they can off of the safe room, it would seem. Healy in the front trying to draw those common there. The Jockey is going to go in, not going to land. Charger's going to get melted at the door almost, but he's going to land in the exact same spot on the exact same survivor that we saw on the last half. However, WW not going to take that much damage from it because the Charger wasn't able to get a couple of pounds. And of course, the safe room spit was not effect there too. Just getting about mm, less than 30, it's 33 damage on the first hit, so still pretty decent for that, and the Charger landing does help, but again, MSB taking that just a little bit better now as they work their way forward. It is going to be a 3-1 with Boomer, Charger, Jockey, Smoker. Pretty good for the open field here, I would say, but the survivors are already pretty wise to it, hanging out at the gazebo and taking their sweet time, trying to kill all the common possible. Charger and Boomer looking to spawn on top of the gazebo as well. Let's see if they're able to get those rockets as the survivors continue to clear out. And it looks as though Coach is out looking at the roof as this Charger is going to go in, not going to land. He does get melted. There's a smoker pull in the opposite direction onto Coach with a boom going out on that as well, but still just ship damage really going out onto MSB. They're going to look to get the tank spawned up right about now, and it's going to be, as I mentioned before, into the hands of the one and only Dusty. He's going for his dumpster that is actually close to the bus depot entrance, that Cedar trailer as well. He's trying to rock it now with an underhand rock. Gonna maybe try to play with this just a little bit more, but honestly, I think the better play might be to go for the other dumpster as long as he's able to get that with his rage. And indeed, he's gonna give up on that dumpster in the yard and probably go and do just that. Another hit's gonna be going in for Rehab at the same time. It's gonna be the Charger landing, but then getting cleared. Hunter's gonna get skied out of the sky. Rock is gonna fly in, lands close to Nick, but does not actually manage to find a target. Dusty onto his latter half of his first pass 45 percent now 40 left and the survivors are not really looking for that much chip because they know that site is going to be traded pretty well but now dusty's got this hittable in a good position hitting in right next to that gazebo as the survivors are going to be looking now to ship him with the Suzies, but they do not have those on silence and you can see it does literally one damage per bullet at range so this is not going to be worth it i don't think if they're trading site but dusty is on to second pass now 90 percent and that was going to be probably an open field three cap that team rehab are looking for but now the survivors are getting pushy onto him he's going to throw a rock around the corner but he's not able to actually get it jockey and smoker in the queue so far as this tank now is going to be rotating looking to make his way in 
with this dumpster and it is going to be a jockey charger and smoker for the full head side hit that dumpster goes spiraling towards nick and rochelle but is not going to land dusty looking for his first punch on to rochelle managing to get it there the si hit's going to be going in jockey looking to get an intercept on this smoker but it's not going to land nick is being absolutely ganked by that smoker and that charger hittable is going to be going on to him as well perfect hit right there by dusty to get that in cap but however he is not going to be able to get that kill because he is going to die that was all the SI setting that up for him right there and a perfect dumpster hit by him to match the damage that was done by MSB's tank on the last half. It's all about bonus preservation now and honestly I expect MSB to push forward the same way we saw Rehab do just because they don't want to be standing for 240 common in any area that allows bleed. It's going to be a 2-2 two -two now for Team Rehab, Spitter, Boomer, Jockey, and Hunter. They're going to look to send it right now with that Jockey spawning behind the wall. Hunter working its way in and taking the Jockey's target for a Spit to go down on top of that, getting a decent amount from that Spit attack as the Boomer gets M2'd and then does manage to land onto WW. Honestly, that did more damage than I thought it was going to just because they decided to stack the survivors there, but we've seen that be one of the plays that almost every team has used on SI now when you get a pounce and then you get a charger or something on that to just maximize the damage onto one survivor versus going for a multi-cap, but this is going to be a scary hit for MSB. It's a hunter, jockey, charger, and smoker in the hands of Rehab. They have practice with these quads. That's going to be the charger managing to land. Jockey is going to land as well. The hunter landed in the front, but then Nick got the M2 on the smoker who was looking to intercept onto him after that clear so no quad cap going out survivors still pushing their way forward and they still have everybody fast one set of pills left they are going to want to get to the top of that scaffolding however because ww and wmmh are both bleeding out as another si hits going to be coming into queue right now spitter hunter boomer and charger for this hit for rehab they're going to be looking to send it with CMS. The survivors are going to be crossing underneath these awnings, but they actually don't want to do that on survivor side yet. They know the hit is up, and they know that this could be devastating with those rocket spawns coming in, plus whatever else the SI have. They're going to be looking to kill these commons, standing just kind of in the middle of this alleyway. And I don't know exactly how long they want to do this, because the horde is now starting to surround them just a bit. Rochelle also getting hit there a couple times, and they now are going to be looking to push their way forward. Boomer's going to spawn up next to the porta potty. He does get a single boom onto Rochelle. Hunter's going to go in, managing to land it, and that's the charger landing almost as well onto Ellis. And that time, they actually weren't able to do any kind of chain attack there after the hunter went in. I actually thought the charger was going to go for Rochelle after that happened, but indeed it did not. Healy is up top, turning off the button, and I do believe we have a crash onto WMMH. That's unfortunate for MSB because they were honestly sitting pretty there in terms of health for a second. They all had everybody fast, but this is probably Rochelle taking a fair amount of common damage from that, and it's unfortunate for them because that was the one survivor that got boomed. If they'd been able to keep moving with that, Rochelle probably would have acted as like a human pipe bomb, and that would have been, actually I'd say more advantageous for the survivors, but now instead it is just gonna be this pause as we try to figure out what happened to Rochelle. Still a decent amount of Horde left too. We saw Rehab push through the bus depot while the Horde was trailing behind them, but honestly now I don't think MSB has the health to do it just because Ellis is bleeding out and already underneath 40, Healy's bleeding out and underneath 40, Ryan is holding the majority of the bonus here. It might be more about preserving that at this point along with whatever DB that they can. They are still going to be able to make the safe room potentially with a decent amount of health bonus to almost match. Uh, rehab's performance, but it's going to be a reload now for Rochelle, and she might be stuck in the middle of these commons. So we had a little bit of an unfortunate circumstance, of course, in the match last night between teams Envy and Aquilix, where one survivor got completely stuck during a tank fight. This is not the same kind of thing, but it is going to take both teams, most likely the survivors, out of their rhythm and out of their flow as Rochelle is standing there by this wall. And they still have a pretty decent amount of horde to take. That's why when they were kind of hanging by that corner, I think it was the right kind of play because they didn't want to have the rockets happen onto them. But then once the horde actually started to surround them, that is what the SI can play off of. So let's see if we're able to get this rolling just again in a couple seconds. Also, worth mentioning uh, for those who weren't watching directly at the beginning of this stream, and even if you were and didn't hear it, this is going to be a double header stream. Uh, Vanel and I are going to be going right from this game to Keyboard Warriors versus Stuck in Rotation on Home and Away next, so 
don't go anywhere for the next like two and a half hours if you enjoy top quality Left 4 Dead 2 on the Parish in this quarterfinals round. Every one of these games has been extremely entertaining so far. We saw 44 biceps also beat Evo by a cumulative total of less than 100 points yesterday on that home and away. So 44 biceps versus Envy is already set up in that bracket. And now the winner of this game will play the winner of the game that's happening later tonight. We'll have all of our questions answered for who that's going to be in pretty short order but first thing that we have to do is actually get Rochelle back into this game so that we can continue this but I did just see Ryan hop back online so I'm hoping he did that so that his teammate can join but at the same time this does not bode well honestly I'd say for MSB the more that I sit here looking at this pause screen <laughs> with uh the comments surrounding her they're gonna need to clear a good amount of horde to get Rochelle able to move and still pop her pills. So this could be a pretty devastating hit for Team Rehab coming next because those spawn timers are already set to expire at four for Dungeon and one for Dusty. So it's going to be a really, really interesting sequence coming up. But what would be competitive Left 4 Dead 2 without uh, a fair pause like in the middle of this? You know, that that's something that we're almost used to, I'd say, at this point after, oh god, 12 years of this game. 12 years of this game competitively as well. Let me see if I can figure out what's going on by messaging someone. I'm asking Ryan if he's alive, which would probably be, probably hopefully be a yes as they're rejoining, but don't quite know as of yet. Okay, so now I'm getting told that he's coming back. That's good, that's good. Oh, okay, so apparently what happened is that we had a, a power a power outage, yeah. Okay, so that's that's what that was. I think it was just a a flicker of the lights there for Rochelle, thankfully, or else we'd have to be trying to see who MSB would be getting to sub in this game. They do have five people on their roster, however, so it might not be the end of the world if that were to happen, but I think they really want to keep this kind of momentum that they've had through the first couple maps of this game because they're keeping it extremely close so far and have the chance to keep doing that. What is their bonus at? Okay, so right now they're at 100 points higher than Rehab had getting into the safe room and they have about mm, uh, two more good hits, maybe three if they're slow left to deal with, so all Rehab really has to do is knock over 100 points off of that bonus and it's definitely possible for a couple of these hits. What I don't want to see the survivors do is turn the button off and then go into this hellish area between the scaffolding and the entrance to the bus depot because that is like the worst spot you could possibly be in on survivor and we do have a ready up coming from the survivors now waiting for rehab to also do that let's oh no not okay there we go there we go he's fully loaded and now he's going to be stuck mark my words unless they find a way around this let's see so that is Rochelle coming back into the game and now Rochelle is also going to be stuck directly next to those common but his team are wise to that sitting around doing the best that they can. We actually see Rochelle weapon switching at the same time. Spectating is not going to help with that honestly but now they're calling ready as Rochelle is able to move. So the next hit's gonna be a spitter, smoker, jockey, and a boomer. Two, two, four, team rehab as they go in. Nice double cap landing in the front with the jockey and smoker finding their plays and that is exactly what they needed to do. Boomer is going to get a triple boom going out onto the survivors as well as they continue working their way across this scaffolding. So now they have three survivors slow. Ryan took a decent amount of damage from that as well and this is now going to be a waiting game for them but actually they are dropping two survivors into that area where it is definitely in my opinion not ideal to be as long as they keep a couple off top this might actually be a decent idea but I'm worried for Nick and Ellis down there since it is so easy just to rocket on top of their heads rest of the horde now is pouring in as well from the bus depot that's gonna be the hunter landing on to Ellis spit going down on top of him as well Charger's gonna rocket off the top and get an in cap on to WW from that and that is exactly what you hate to see in this area it is so easy to land cappers when you can just 
rocket and or fly off the top of those buildings but it's just going to be common now who are populating in the front as they usually do as msb continue working their way forward just trying to prevent some in caps here but the spitter is trying to make this happen for team rehab hunter smoker and a boomer for the rest of the hit as the survivors work their way in hunter goes bouncing in going to land smoker lands for a split second as well but coach is on top of this trash can so no spit damage is going to land onto him as they continue pushing their way through this common and now there's really not a whole lot left they're gonna down nick and pick him back up right about now they still have 82 health bonus and 163 for that damage bonus too as they make their way towards the safe room but this is a nice hit from rehab it's gonna be a charger jockey smoker and that spitter who is already pre-spawned survivors working their way in almost managing to get it but rochelle is going to be in capped right outside as that jockey was also right there on that hit the charger died but now there's going to be a good amount of trolling i think going out onto this pickup ryan though getting the self clear onto that smoker jockey's looking to dive in again here comes the pre-spec the jockey's not going to land it and that's going to be msb making the safe room as well for a total score of 1132 points versus team rehab 1496 Still an extremely close game going into map three, and now the real question is going to be where on this long map is this tank going to spawn? We saw a bridge tank last night at the ambulance, of course, around 70-some percent. I honestly would like to see, just in a game that's this close as well, maybe an early tank just because it can be so dynamic with the hittable coming in plus the certain hits you can get. But I'm not going to get that. We are going to get another bridge tank at 73%. That's honestly a bit of a precarious tank spawn, I'll say, for the survivors, because I think it is possible for the tank to spawn before the survivors are all the way up top. And so if the special infected decide to save a hit, that could actually be extremely unfortunate for the survivors. Rehab are going to know how to play it, of course, but they could actually be getting hit as they're trying to transition up, which is exactly where they don't want to be in terms of their survivor safety but we do looks like have another disconnect going wmmh is also not in the server now i'm not sure if his electricity is going to be doing that again but for anyone who was looking to have a competitive left 4 dead 2 playoff run especially on this quarterfinals parish week that was free of technical difficulties we should know by now that that's just not how the cookie crumbles sometimes based on how competitive works so hopefully he's able to get back into the server relatively soon uh because the first half of this game has these teams set up only 364 points apart in favor of Rehab. So it really will depend on this tank that we're going to see as well. This looks like to be Team uh, W, Team WMH, Team Mad Sad Bad Sub coming in. That's going to be SNOT with a dollar sign, and I will just... I, I'll, I'll just allow that to be as it is, as Team Rehab have already readied up. This boomer is going to be pre-spawned on top of the bridge. Hunter, Jockey, and Smoke, Hunter, Jockey, and Spitter, rather, coming in. As that's going to be a Jockey and a Hunter landing onto the same survivor, but the Spitter actually did not go for that pin at all. Looking a little bit on the free spit damage side of things, but really nothing landing there of value for team msb so that's going to allow team rehab to push their way up close to this room as there's going to be a jockey smoker hunter and a charger quad cap waiting for them on this choke looks as if the charger is trying to get on top of the roof smoker is across the way and is going to be looking to maybe yank someone who comes over the bus and the jockey is going to be spawning from below as well so expecting to see a pretty interesting chess match here from the survivors as they're standing up top trying to bait the most that they can as the SI are indeed going to be waiting for them. Rehab have to know that this is a deadly hit and probably that they don't have a spitter on that side just from how the order of things went. But they're going to be getting that baiting timer now as they clean out the common who are already pre-spawned down below. Let's see if MSB decide to send it now because it looks as though Rehab are going to be getting some nice spacing down here. And that is going to be the Hunter pre-spawning as the rest of the hit is going to go in. Hunter landing in the front. Charger's going to land as well. Jockey looking for it on that side of the bus but that was just going to be a charger getting a pound versus any other kind of triple or quad cap going out there so nicely handled pretty much by rehab they know it's going to be a 2-2 coming up next i wouldn't be surprised if we see them just try to blitz 
all the way through the room at this point and indeed that's exactly what they're going to be doing dave holding that w key standing on the windowsill now hunter spitter boomer and charger for this next hit boomer spawns up gets m2 but then popped onto coach as that hunter is going to land and here's where we're going to see the damage stack go out getting a chest bump onto dusty and forcing him to eat all of that spit damage as is one of the marquee ways to get damage in Left 4 Dead 2 on Zone Mod in 2021. Charger dying the way that it did might also give a non-ideal hit for the sewer here, but we'll see what Team MSB decides to do on Special Infected with this. Smoker, Jockey, Boomer, and Hunter for this. Really not good for the first drop here, but might actually be workable on the ladder, and indeed that is what we're going to be seeing as this Boomer tries to vomit up the sewer manhole, but it does not manage to land, and this is going to cause the Special Infected to wait for this ladder choke. Extremely interesting timing here as well, because the survivors are getting precariously close to that tank spawn, as we mentioned at the top of this chapter. So, let's see if this smoker is going to decide to go. It's not. The jockey's going to land down below. Hunter's going to land. That's a beautiful triple cap coming out from Team MSB on to Team Rehab. And the spit's going to get some damage as well, and this is a really decent spread up to this point onto the survivors. They still have everyone fast except for Dusty. But as you can see, as they're working their way through this lot, this tank is going to be up before they are up the ladder with one survivor in the back, and they're going to have a hit for it. Charger, Boomer, Hunter, and Jockey for it. Charger's going to go in, trying to land onto Coach. Boomer spawns up as well, gets a single boom. Hunter going in, they're trying to keep them in there as much as they possibly can. This tank is up into the hands of Ryan with that missile doing no damage, and Team Rehab indeed were able to kill that hit and get into position but as we saw that hit can be pretty devastating with a different set of spawns so rehab might be looking to do the same thing on their special infected half but first ryan is going to have to do some work with this hittable we saw an utterly incredible tank by kimchi in the match that was played last night and ryan's gonna have to do something similar here it really does depend on how this hittable goes with that flaming car being the difference between a wipe or potentially a tank that gets shut down in this area. They want a boomer and a smoker for it. Boomer, though, is going to spawn and get shut down. So now with that charger and boomer both dead, should be a smoker, jockey, and hunter, I think, for the commit hit which is a decent setup, especially for this area. The smoker can do a bunch of things in terms of how it wants to go. Early pull could be possible potentially on the car, but the idea is going to be split the survivors, land the multi-cap, and have that tank get some kind of corner as he works this car in. Moving it to the right-hand side of the bridge now, right up against the fence, getting chipped down to 4,500 HP already as he works his way in. There the car is going to go flying over the survivors' heads and out of play with absolute Absolutely no problem for rehab as they're cutting this tank that is gonna be a jockey landing smoker landing as well the survivors are trying to clear but they're not gonna get it that is a triple cap going out onto team rehab that just now is going to get cleared that support was incredible and that's going to be rochelle down with a jockey going in the front dungeon is slow this tank has 1300 hp left to its name beautiful damage going out by team msb so far Ryan moving his way around. The jockey is going to jump up, just kind of trolling on the side. But now they're going to get the pickup onto Rochelle with a boom going out onto Nick down below. Rock landing as well onto Dave. These common are going to be trying to end Nick's life right here. Jockey going in, trying to land. Charger is punching magic to land, and that is a full death onto Dungeon. Oh my goodness, when he hit that car out, I was so expecting just a shutdown to go in but that's not what we saw one survivor dead everybody bleeding no pills left because of that brilliant special infected support that we saw from ryan's teammates there plus the way he was able to separate the survivors this is a huge opportunity for team msb right now as they're looking to get this wipe and then they could make something happen on survivor side that tank can be shut down in much better fashion than we just saw huge huge chance for them to even potentially take a lead in this game as we're going to have this smoker pull going out into the back hunter looking for it as well landing everything onto dusty spit and smoker are going to be scratching him death spit goes out he's not going to go down but he is at one hp with his teammates also bleeding out and there's the end cap going from dave onto him with these common going into troll this pickup and
Honestly, if they get a strong hit now from Team MSB, this could be looking at a wipe in very, very, very short order. And it is indeed going to be a Charger, Hunter, Spitter, and a Jockey. Let's see what they manage to make happen with it, because right now Team Rehab are just limping to get these distance points. Hunter going in, going to land on to Dusty, and it's going to be an in-cap from the Jockey on to Rochelle. The Charger did whiff but is now trying to stay alive as much as possible to get this kind of troll. But now he's going to be backing up, baiting the survivors, getting shot as they've gotten Risk Burner up. But he is going to be black and white as they move their way forward through this graveyard. Only really one more hit now possible. It's going to be a Jockey, Smoker, Charger, and a Boomer. Unless they get some kind of in cap here, the survivors will try to force their way into the safe room. Charger lands the intercept. Dusty is going to be M2ing for his life, but now he's going to be in cap. And the Jockey lands on to Wrist Burner. Mad, sad, bad. Just played one of the best special infected rounds I think we've seen in this tournament so far and this is this is their huge shot this is usually the map on parish you know map one is sometimes a wash usually a wash map two can go either way but map three is really the swing map in this campaign especially because it's being played one to four with no parish finale we saw parish finale honestly in a few tournaments before this one but for this one one to four i think makes a lot more sense especially when you have home and away being engaged but this is actually a situation where even if it is just a one game we're not playing finale at all so it's three halves left and msb have the chance to make this one their map boomer hunter spitter jockey for rehab's first hit boomer is already pre-spawned up top hunter is also on top of that part of the bridge Let's see what they're able to make happen because MSB are being super careful on survivor side, about to work their way out of the safe room. Let's see now as this jockey's gonna go hurtling in, not going to land. The hunter does land with a spit directly on top of that as well, but actually the spread was not favorable for the SI and Ryan was able to slide his way out of that, only taking about 15 damage versus what would have been a little bit worse had he been surrounded, so. Pound Spit managed to land, that was the damage potential for that hit. Let's see what they get next for this room as the survivors are making quick work of this staircase. Jockey, Charger, Smoker, and Hunter. So a quad cap in the exact same spot we had it on the last half. Let's see if Team Rehab can do a bit better with it. They have been practicing as much as they possibly could be for RBT5, and if there's any team that can land a quad, it is them. Hunter's gonna land, Smoker lands as well. Charger looking for the land on to Coach after the Jockey gets the Jock, and that Smoker is just pulling Ellis in the corner. His team was a little bit oblivious to that just to start, so a bit more damage than they probably like to going out, but they are still extremely healthy, working their way forward. It should be a spitter hit for the room up ahead. Let's see if Rehab decides to wait for that point. They're gonna get the Boomer as well. So Boomer, Spitter, Hunter, and one more spawn coming into queue is going to be that Charger. So a favorable 2-2 to say the least for this room as the survivors are approaching this staircase. And honestly, the survivor in front is the one who's gonna have to be the most aware of this because if they get wall kicked in that room with a charge, that is gonna do a stupendous amount of damage with those stumbles as we saw earlier. So this is going to be another baiting game by the survivors here with Rochelle trying to get as much clearance as possible with that Uzi, but now they're going to put Coach in the front. Hunter gets absolutely annihilated in the middle of that hallway. Charger manages to land, though, onto Coach, but he is going to be able to get out of that with no getup because he was standing on top of that counter. That's Leopard Dead 2's logic in a nutshell, right? Where the Charger actually lands, the Spitter goes down on top of it, and then the Survivor just cakewalks out of it with Red Godframe still onto him. So I would not be happy, of course, if I were that Charger, but the Survivors are again pushing their way at their pace, and it's going to be a Jockey, Boomer, Smoker, and Hunter for this next hit. So no quad as MSB are trying to push their way in. Hunter's going to go flying in with this Jockey as well. Smoker looking for a pull, not managing to land it. Hunter does now manage to land onto Rochelle. Boomer dropping in the middle of them. No proxy, however, and that Smoker in the hands of Dusty is going to save as this map continues for MSB. They're gonna be dropping down. Smoker is up, but there's gonna be no death pull for them as they work their way forward at almost the same pace as MSB. Charger's gonna pre-spawn at the top, behind the van, going to land onto Coach, but the Spitter really wasn't ready for that until now. One common trying to hold him in. They are going to trigger an alarm car as that Smoker gets cleared. This 
is extremely important for Team MSB because they cannot spawn that tank with this horde. They are going to shoot all the alarms that they possibly can, but I expect to see them camp it probably right at the bottom of this ladder or in the side of the impound lot where Rochelle is. They need to be super duper careful because this hit's going to be strong for Team Rehab. Hunter, Charger, Spitter, and Boomer for the next hit coming in. And there's another alarm being triggered as that Hunter gets annihilated. That Charger is also going to die. Free Spit goes in but is not going to land. They cannot spawn this tank right now. They absolutely cannot. And that's why I think they're going to be maybe... No, they are going to spawn it! No, MSBY! Um, the Horde, I don't think, is going to stop as they are going to be completely common locked on top of the bridge. This does not bode well for them as this tank in the hands of Risk Burner is going to be working this car in. He's going to launch it over the ambulance. It's not going to land. Rochelle is alone, though, on the side, going to have a punch miss right there. A hunter is up as well, landing onto her. The tank is down below as the rest of the survivors are up top. Rochelle is in cap. This tank has 4.6k HP going in. Jockey is going to land. This is going to be Ellis getting a couple hits onto the tank, but that really wasn't worth. The smoker's in the back. That's two downs going out. Brian is going to get the third in cap with the car and for the absolute life of me i don't know why they went forward with that horde that was something where they needed to stay at the bottom because event hordes will stop when the survivors go forward hordes triggered by car alarms or atms or booms will not stop when they're going forward that was so so unfortunate for MSB because they could have just stayed at the bottom of the ladder, killed all the common, and then gone up top, but they spawned the tank because it was at that 73% mark. So literally, because they didn't stop and just clear out down below, they gave a full horde from the impound lot directly to rehab with a tank spawning, and they took absolute advantage of it in an amazing way. So now this is going to be the Delta going into map 4 really really will depend on the tank the tank is going to be at 50 percent so that has the potential to be a pool room tank but also could be fought in the street and it's still super close for msb it's less than 400 points but i just can't get over the fact they just did what they did on the previous map because that was an excellent opportunity for them to take that tank much better had they just stayed there and cleared out the horde Gonna be moving on from that now, however, because we are gonna see both teams almost already readied up on this fourth map of Parish. Which, as I mentioned, is not as much of a game changer potentially as map three, but it's gonna have to be for MSB in this area. As this hunter is gonna try to land onto a pulled survivor, but it is not going to work. The spitter is going to die as well as the survivors push their way out of the safe room without a whole lot of resistance. The smoker is going to save itself up top, potentially for a quad cap, I would assume, but I'm not exactly sure if they died in the right order to get that set of spawns up. We will see momentarily. It's going to be a jockey, charger, hunter, and that smoker, so indeed they did. Because of that sack order now, they have a pretty strong hit to launch onto rehab as they move their way forward. I am going to be interested to see when they send it, and I think the survivors are wise to it because that smoker saved. They know they're going to have a quad to deal with, and that there's going to be uh, two or three really good rocket spawns that are able to come onto them from these rooftops amidst those planes flying overhead. Hunter's going to bounce its way in. Not quite going to land. Yeah, Jockey gets m 2 and shut down. Charger gets annihilated by those shotguns, and the smoker got a couple ticks of damage with a Jockey landing onto it, but another insta-clear going out so i think the momentum now is definitely on the side of team rehab as they work their way up these stairs they are gonna have to drop to spawn this tank and then i don't think they have enough time for everybody to push inside but they are probably gonna have to just have everybody drop or two two drop depending on how they want to do it but i think the two and two can be pretty risky because if either of them gets double capped it's an absolutely it's an absolute massacre honestly boomer hunter charger spitter going in hunter is gonna get skeeted charger is gonna miss that was a great skeet by thanatos going out aka dave aka soul and this is the rehab that we are pretty used to seeing on survivor side as the tank is gonna spawn up into the hands of ww14 msb Let's see, is he going to be able to make something incredible happen with this tank, or is he just going to be shut down in this pool room? The survivors are looking at whether or not they can push inside. The tank is inside, and they are getting chipped on to him as he decides to back out on this ladder. So he does have the cutoff, but the survivors are threatening 
inside with two in the bar and two in the street. Tank is going to climb up now, looking to get chipped by about over 600, actually, from those Suzies, but it was not a distance Uzi, so it did not get railed in a way that's non-recoverable. I mean, he took about 10% chip right there, and the survivors know that he's inside. They're trying to get more chip through the floor, but this is a much more favorable spot for the SI, I would say, because this will force the survivors to either kite inside or have to deal with these cars that are in the street. Jockey Boomer Hunter for this hit for WW's second pass. I'm interested to see if he's going to commit from the window or if he's going to commit from inside. He's committing from the window and the survivors are going to take him inside instead. Jockey's going to spawn up. They're going to fight him in the bar area. He's down to 3k HP. Jockey trying to help out there but is going to die. Tank is getting a corner onto Dusty but he's getting absolutely railed. Missing that punch and now Dusty is starting to machete him as well. That is going to be just about one down on this tank. But the tank is going to decommit. Trying to throw a rock from above. Not managing to land it but he is on his last legs in terms of this fight. E-Rock going to go flying in as well, not going to land, and the survivors know he is absolutely low and he is gonna die right there downstairs. That may just about clinch it, I would say, for Team Rehab, barring a catastrophe. That spitter is gonna get a decent amount of damage from that charger and that pull, but again, only real damage from that tank fight going out onto Dusty, so. That, I think, is going to cause Team Rehab to just continue rolling with their momentum. They have three huge health bonuses, dungeons at 99 HP, and they know that once they reach the end of this, this might be just enough for them to close this game out. Of course, lots of hits still left on the map, and MSB has the potential to do a lot more damage, but Hunter, Boomer, Jockey, and Charger for this next one. No spitter as the survivors are going to be working their way outside. We do see a Boomer proxy go out with the rest of the hit going in, but that's going to be a skeet, a Charger shut down, and then just a latch of that jockey onto coach's face for a split second but nothing huge in terms of damage going out at all as the survivors continue working their way through this house going upstairs as fast as possible they're gonna look to clear this event because as they move forward they can actually get the common that are spawning to come from behind them as they move through the buildings this will be a interesting strategy to see as well from the si as they're going to send this double boom in with a spitter smoker and hunter there's the pull going out the pounce is going to land with a spit going out on top of that that's going to be dungeons 99 no longer so knocked down to 74 hp from that hit but obviously the survivors are still in a very nice spot when it comes to health hitting that lever down below to cause the float to inch ever so closely to that rooftop and I wouldn't be surprised to see them jump over it before it's even there so long as they clear this hit that we're about to see. Jockey Charger, Boomer, and Hunter for the SI. They're looking to send this mostly from the roof it would seem. Hunter's gonna get blown out of the sky though by Dusty with that Charger going in on the bottom. Jockey's gonna land, does get insta-cleared and no spit means no more damage really from that and indeed all four survivors are going to be jumping over onto that float and they're going to start holding W as much as possible to get this event behind them. It should be a bit of a better hit, I'd say, for MSB, but again, they're going to have to now match Rehab's pace as they're working their way forward. Spitter, Smoker, Hunter, and a Boomer, so... 2-2, not amazing at all, really to say the least, and the survivors now are going to take some of this horde in the bar area here, as they still have the ability for all of them to be ridiculously fast. So long as they clear out most of these common, the last couple hits on this map are very easy to blitz through. This hunter is going to go in, trying to land, free spit, does manage to land with a pounce going out on top of that, hitting Nick once more, but again, it just doesn't feel like enough from this perspective, just because... That tank got a single down in an area where if the survivors fought it in the street it could have been a wipe, but they really needed some kind of multi-cap or multi-boom in that scenario because Rehab have just been able to power their way through the rest of these hits, taking a decent amount of damage but nowhere near, like I said, enough for the game to be turned. They're going to work their way through the right-hand side building instead of going out the alley, trying to push in front. Smoker's going to spawn up, is going to get self-cleared by Risk Burner. Charger's going to miss. Hunter does, actually the Charger went for a long charge and managed to land. I thought it was going for one of the survivors in the front. But again, no spitter, so no more damage going out on top of that. Thanatos is at exactly 40 HP, will not have to pop pills. And this is going to be Team Rehab, our number one seed in RBT5, almost clinching their way into the semifinals. 3,563 points 
for Team Rehab, and that was easily their best map because they scored 1.5k on this fourth map after this was a just about three or 400 point game going into this map, and that is going to require Team MSB to play this perfectly in a way, just based on how this game has gone, that is a very, very long shot for them. We're going to see them ready up in pretty quick order, though, right here on this second half of map four, and honestly, I... I'll talk about it a bit later, but that tank on map 3 was really, really when it felt as though Rehab took control after that Horde and that hit were able to get that tank as much help as he needed to get that wipe, so... We are going to see exactly what MSB can do on this map. Again, they can get the same amount of damage, I think, from that tank, but they need to almost just take almost no damage throughout this map in order to win the game and that is going to be a tall order against rehab si smoker boomer hunter spitter for their first hit as the hunter's going to wall kick in for a nine damage pounce next to a pull there the spit was rather late on to that so only a bit of damage from it and they're going to have the boomer die as the spitter decides to save up top so far spraying a very interesting spray next to it and it's it's actually um a three or four door tournament uh, retrospective with a Grim Reaper knocking on the door that has RBT5 on it. So that is their declaration that they're going to be trying to win this tournament as well. So you always love to see that. In the middle of a game that they're playing, Charger, Hunter, Jockey, and a Spitter for this next hit. Pretty scary for the survivors just because these rocket spawns are possible. Jockey's going to land in the garage. Hunter looking to latch onto Coach after that charge spit did manage to land on to Ellis, and that is a decent amount of damage from that hit, but it's really going to come down to this tank, as we all know. Survivor's making their way through this building, and they will probably be able to get upstairs before the next hit is in queue. This might be an instance of rehab hitting on the tank spawn, just because they're going to have pretty decent spawns for it, with that Boomer and Smoker being a, uh, a, a pretty deadly combination if they're able to get a multi-boom on the survivors but it's also going to depend on that charger and that jockey as the survivors are jumping at the top of this drop right here i really do expect to see all four of them drop instead of splitting up but this will be a case where the si are going to wait i think for that tank spawn because they are poised right to rocket in on them from that roof that the survivors are currently standing under with that jockey and smoker and charger looking for this triple cap as the baiting timer is already in play. This is going to cause MSB to work their way forward and they're probably going to try to gank one survivor and then intercept on the others if they decide to hit prior to the tank. But this baiting timer is getting precariously low. Boomer spawns up, manages to get a single boom, charger's going to land inside, that is a brilliant triple cap from Team Rehab with that smoker landing on Rochelle, jockey getting a good amount of damage onto Nick and that charger landed in the garage area there as this boomer has decided to stay alive to get that deadly multi-boom tank is up in the hands of dungeon and we have a pause on survivor side because one of their players unfortunately crashed and left the game again hopefully again hopefully we don't know exactly if it's going to be this way or not but having a survivor stuck here would be even worse due to the fact this tank is going to be able to get close to them in pretty short order i would say I don't think they're going to be able to take the pool room inside, and they might have to do the same kind of thing that Rehab did and fight him in that bar area, if not in the street. But I expect to see Team Rehab potentially try to stop them from going inside as we see this play out. And exactly where is, where is Coach? Coach is, Coach is actually the second to the front, so he's going to be stuck maybe in that spot for a decent amount of time. Let's see if the Left 4 Dead gods are helping us today or not. That's gonna be a... Okay, the bot was moving. Nope, he's stuck, okay. And now he's gonna spectate, try to go back in, but the tank is literally right there. The tank is literally at the end of the alley as he is still unable to move until now. Now he's able to move. The tank is close enough to intercept, but has decided not to. Boomer gets a nice double boom as we see the survivors work their way forward. This tank in the hands of Dungeon could actually decide to commit on this, and indeed, he's going to commit from inside to stop the survivors from getting there, and that's going to be a punch onto Rochelle. Second punch going out, early corner, as he has 4.9k left, getting another punch onto WW. Team Rehab have definitely made this their map, as that Curve Rock also manages to land. Hunter is going to lock this up inside with that pounce landing. His teammates are desperately trying to clear him, but that is going to be the death. Another brilliant Curve Rock. 
from Spongy with this tank. Hit's gonna be coming in now as well. Tank is gonna get the punch onto WW. Charger is going for it onto Coach. That's gonna be a Hunter landing, Jockey landing, and a good game going out in the favor of Team Rehab. Our number one seed advances to the semifinals to play the winner of the game that we are about to cast next by a score of 3,563 to 1,839. That map three decision by MSB, my god, is going to be something that I remember for a fairly long time just because it felt as though that was their half to where they might have been able to take the lead and the map four would have been entirely different, but Rehab doing what they do best and continuing their win streak. Congratulations to them on making the semifinals and huge commiserations to MSB as they put up a hell of a fight in this game. It just wasn't quite enough to overcome this difference. We are about to now jump from this server directly to the Suck and Rotation versus Team Keyboard Warriors game, which is going to be a home and away uh, battle that I expect to be extremely close and extremely entertaining. So we are going to quick do that transition. Thank you for watching this first game and we'll be right back with you in a second to get this rolling once again on Parish 1 through 4.